Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well and a happy Easter from me and the babies to all of you. I've got um little um how do we call him Ethan now? Little Reuben laying down there. I forgot all about this little man the other day when I was um doing theme Thursday and he's got his um Peter Rabbit coat on and I completely forgot. <clears throat> Bless him, so I thought I'd bring him on first today. There. Doesn't he look cute? Snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> And he's got some little friends, some little Easter chicks. And then if I scan up, or pan up, I don't know what you're supposed to say when you're filming. Oh, there's uh, Ethan's head, he's coming on in a minute. And they're the other babies. The girls have got Easter bonnets. And um, I had this idea this morning that if I folded up the sides and put a staple in each side, <laughs> thankfully it's not for a real child, um, that Jameson might look a bit like an Easter cowboy. So he could wear the spare hat, because I had one hat left over. <laughs> I was saying to my son yesterday, um, my son popped in yesterday, uh, Tom, and I was saying that, um, oh, I've just done bonnets for the girls to do an Easter video, and I'd love to give you one to take home for Evie, Evie's five. Uh, I said, but I haven't got anything for Michael, so it wouldn't be fair, would it? You know, I didn't have anything similar for Michael. I could have done the cowboy hat, couldn't I? But I didn't even think about that until this morning, but never mind. <laughs> oh, they look lovely anyway. Let's pan back up again, shall we, and have another look. There they go. We've got um, at, right at the back a chase over in the corner in the grey hat. He's got his, still got his beachy fied um, t-shirt on um, with little seagulls and beach huts. I thought it was just apt to leave the boys as they were today. He's got his beach themed t-shirt on with beach huts, seagulls, boats, all that kind of thing. Tristan's got his rescue helico helicop <laughs> helicopter t-shirt on and now an Easter cowboy hat. <laughs> um, they're both cuddling little rabbits and I just thought I'll leave them as they are because being as we're a seaside town, then that sort of matches the weekend for us really. And then the girls have got pretty dresses on. Um, I'll bring them, uh, I don't know about Ava this morning with my back, <laughs> my poor old back, sorry about my back. <laughs> It's always my back, isn't it? But um, I might bring the girls down a little bit so you can see their dresses a little bit better because they are different. Abby's got little bunnies running around the bottom of hers and um, Saren's got this lovely um, scalloped edging and embroidery on hers. And then Ava is wearing the green dress I made for her a couple of weeks ago. And then you've got um, Tristan in his Peter Rabbit from Theme Thursday, but obviously it's perfect for Easter as well. And then you've got a couple of babies waiting over there. <laughs> and then we're back down to Reuben, having his little turn um, with his little thing. Well, we're having a lovely day. Um, we've both got an Easter egg. I always do these things, just like as if we're kids. We always have an Easter egg. We always have a Christmas stocking. It's just fun, isn't it? I always put candy canes and chocolates on the tree, even if it's locked down and nobody's visiting or whatever. It's just... Hubby's like, well, we'll just have a nice lunch and there's no point, it's only Easter. And I'm like, no, it's what you make of every day. We should have some fun. So we're having a nice roast lamb lunch later this afternoon and we've got our Easter eggs and we're just having a nice chill day, really. I got the babies dressed up yesterday, ready for today, so I didn't have to fuss about this morning. I could just sit around and, um, you know, have a lazy morning. It's now... Um, 20 to 12 by my bedroom clock so um, I've done pretty good <laughs> um, and they are all in here now ready waiting for me it's like mum can we open our easter eggs <laughs> so um, I think I'll show you um, Ethan next especially as I nearly called Reuben Ethan just now so um, hold your hats and you'll be up soon there he is, a little man himself. Doesn't he just look adorable? Really sweet. <laughs> His hat smells too big, but who cares? It just looks really cute. <laughs> it looks even worse now. Oh no, it doesn't look too bad actually. He's looking right at us now. Say hi, say hi to aunties. And he looks adorable. I love this vintage romper on him. And um, he's got a vintage cardi as well. And one of Tristan's hats. And some really old booties that I've had for years. And he just looks so sweet, doesn't he? He looks absolutely adorable. And he's borrowing, um, having a little borrow of um, Lydia's little lamb. 
<laughs> and it's come all the way from Australia and it's really funny because I'm just amused today that we have Australian lamb for lunch um, so um, I don't know why <laughs> um, really I should be saying oh well we should have nice Welsh hill lamb or something like that but um, we got Australian lamb today so I'm looking forward to that um, I might make some nice um, homemade Yorkshire puddings to go with it I know they should go with beef but I like Yorkshire pudding especially homemade the trouble is the dishes afterwards, isn't it? Who wants the dishes? <laughs> Anyone want to volunteer and come round and we'll have a washing up party? I'd be quite happy. <laughs> so um, little um, Ethan here is um, Ethan Michael. Uh, looks adorable. This is a little vintage romp. We've got teddy, little balls and little blocks and things on the front. And down there it's got a little chick on a little truck, like a little pull-along chick. You know, like we used to have those toys years ago? And some more little balls and bats and flowers and different things. And uh, these little booties I've had for years from when I used to have my shop. And they're just like a leftover pair. And then this little cardi has got a little duck on the side. And I don't know how I'm going to get that for you to see, really. But we might be able to see it. I can twist it around a little bit. It's got a gorgeous little duck on the side there. And he's tipping out a bucket of water. <laughs> and it's just really sweet on him. And this is really old as well. It's like a vintage cardi. But um, it really sets the outfit, doesn't it? He looks lovely. I'll probably leave him in this now for a while. And he can sit in the pram and just look adorable. Every time I go in my craft room, because the pram's in the end of the craft room. So every time I go in there, I can he can look at me. <laughs> and he's looking adorable. Just pull your hat down a little bit, makes it bothering me. And we also have um, Scarlett, Lydia and Narnia as well. Going to make appearance today in their little Easter outfits. Um, so I thought that maybe next up would be Scarlett. There she is. Ever adorable Scarlett. Doesn't this little dress look adorable on the small girls? It's absolutely lovely. But you can see how she's sort of longer than um, Lydia. I think it's because of Lydia's bendy legs, but um, you can see more of um, Scarlett and, uh, you know, she the pants just seem to come down further. I'm going to have to measure and compare them properly. And then she's got the little, those gorgeous little shoes uh, from, they're like a sort of knitted sort of fabric that we um, got from um, Nutmeg. And they are so tiny. It's not very often you get uh, newborn size shoes and they fit really well. I'm I'm umming and on. I think I might get the blue ones for the boys as well. Well, the girls could wear them too, couldn't they really? But I think I might get the blue ones for the boys because they're just so tiny and so cute and adorable. And um, you just have to have them then, don't you? <laughs> um, I've been looking on eBay for um, some more dresses like this. Um, I found a few, but nothing this sort of style. You know where it's uh, it is so lovely and flared across the front so I shall keep looking and then as soon as I spot any I shall pick some up because I have great news I am reborn pregnant <laughs> reborn expecting I well that sounds better reborn expecting officially reborn expecting and um, so uh, Lydia is gonna have a little sister in a few months time so I cannot wait so of course now it's all looking at baby clothes thinking of names all the excitement starting to feel nasty and just really looking forward to it and a nice um, summer baby sister for Lydia it's a shame they're not that uh, quick in real life really isn't it <laughs> while we wait patiently <laughs> for them to arrive and keep us up all night <laughs> oh bless but uh, they're adorable uh, my great grandson is uh, what five weeks or so old now six weeks old maybe and um, he is just changing all the time and he's got to a stage now where he's smiling his face is filling out a little bit and um, you know he's looking more like a baby than a, I know he's still tiny but looking more like a baby than um, you know such a newborn baby and uh, just precious Still haven't met him yet, and I can't wait for that, but uh, we're taking it steady and being sensible. We've only been allowed to stop shielding since the 1st of April, so I've got the most important things in first. I've booked my nail appointment. I cannot wait for that. I just have to wait now until uh, everything opens on the 12th to book um, hair 
you know, that kind of thing. And then we'd be away then and be feeling back to normal. And then add to that some sunshine, get out in the nice weather, and um, obviously be careful, masks and all the rest of it, but it'll just be so nice, won't it, to just do some normal things and enjoy the sunshine. So there you are. There's, as you can hear, the road's busy. Everyone's out and about. We've had quite a lot of traffic. It's a bit quiet at the moment. But there's a lot of people out and about running around enjoying the sunshine. Probably off to do things for the day, I expect, with the kids and that kind of thing. Easter egg hunt we used to like to do with the grandkids. That was always lovely. Um, but uh, the last, uh, well, couple of years now, nothing like that's happened. But um, it'd be nice to get back to know maybe next year. And uh, which will come around quick enough, won't it? The time goes fast now. And uh, we can have a nice little time with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> says me wistfully <laughs> so there's um scarlet and next up is i think nanya oh <laughs> oh sorry that's my knee clicking it does it all the time now it's so irritating i can feel it move and then it clicks and it's like oh um there's nanya in her beautiful romper that i bought oh before christmas from tk max and um, it's lovely on. I've been waiting for the warmer weather to really be able to... She can wear it, you know, and you can appreciate how cute it is. And I thought it was ideal for Easter because it's lovely and spring-like in the colours. And um, she's got a little bunny in that pocket and a little white mouse in that pocket and a little chick down the bottom. So it's absolutely perfect, isn't it? She looks really lovely. And as normal, she's well crashed out, fast asleep. Just looking gorgeous, <laughs> bless her. And a little socks from these aren't the socks from Next. Actually, these are little socks from Nutmeg. And I was going to put her little shoes on as well, but um, she just looks so cute. <clears throat> excuse me, in just socks that um, I thought I'd leave her as she was. And uh, she just looks really, really sweet. Oh, I tell you what, I wanted to say as well. It's been, I've been slightly distracted for a couple of minutes because I was thinking, what was I going to say? And it was. Um, thank you for all the comments on my last video. I haven't been in and read most of them and answered them yet because um, it's been a bit of a week this week where I didn't feel too good. Um, I had uh, to go for bloods on Tuesday. That was fine, but I just did a bit of a tour walk, walk in. And then Wednesday, I did my theme Thursday. But um, then Thursday, I had to go for an MRI in the morning. And then we got in literally or less than 10 minutes, probably say 10 minutes for argument's sake, but we literally came through the door and we'd been longer than we thought, by at least half an hour, and it didn't help that I got lost. So I had to walk all the way in and down round and right down to the bowels of the hospital, way down past the chapel of rest and the bereavement office and the restaurant and all that kind of thing. And then the MRI is down there, down by nuclear medicine, which was uh, a bit of a journey. And then coming out, um, I knew the way past the um, restaurant, and then I would go down the corridor and be bless you, Lex, be black back out, back out by the main entrance for Mike to come and pick me up. And um, I went to go up this little bit that you go up to go down the corridor, and they blocked it off, so I didn't know where to go then. So um, I was wandering around a little bit, trying to get my bearings and sort of go back from where I could recognise where I'd been. And then I saw somebody in scrubs and a mask, and I said, oh, can you, um, I was probably in the operating theatre. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't. And I said, oh, can you tell me the, you know, excuse me, can you tell me the way out, please? And he went, oh, and he just nodded, because I don't know why, but he had a mask on, so he couldn't speak, probably. <laughs> and um, he just used his pass to open a door that was locked and let me out. I thought, oh, thank you. And I went out this exit and then realised that I had no clue where I was. <laughs> And I was out in the open air, but I was out in, like, God knows who land. I didn't know where I was. So I just thought, right, I'll just keep, you know, going forward, and eventually I should come to the main road part and uh, know where I am again. So I did manage to find it in the end, but it, then it added on to all the walking, after walking all the way up to it in the first place. Then sitting around for two hours, well, it was an hour you had to drink a drink over an hour, two litres of this drink and sit there for an hour and drink that over the hour and then you have to go and get changed check all your details and everything and then you have to go in for the MRI scan which was 45 minutes and then go and get changed again and then you could leave so 
it took ages and then I got lost so I had to walk like forever and uh, I'm not that good on my feet these days so it really took it out of me so Friday I was hanging absolutely hanging and then the, when we got back Thursday the Sainsbury's delivery man came and I hadn't had time to like even sit down and have a sip of coffee or change back into my jammies lounging around clothes or anything and I had to unload all the shopping and bring it in and, and sort all that out oh my god I was shattered so I was so glad when that was over and done with. But then Friday I paid for it and Saturday. Um, just starting to feel a bit better today. So I thought I'll have a lazy morning this morning. And then uh, uh, have a little bit of my Easter egg. Because you just can't resist it, can you? And I've got a strawberry and white chocolate dairy-free one. So And it was actually quite nice, actually. A little bit sickly, but it's quite nice. I had a little bit of it. It's got, it says on the thing, it's got real strawberries in it. Dried strawberries. And you think, oh, that's nice. And then you have a look, it's 4%. But it is pink, and I love pink, so I'm happy. I've got a pink Easter egg. That's the first time in my 60 years I've had a pink Easter egg. So I'm perfectly happy. And it's dairy-free. So that's an added bonus, isn't it? You can't go wrong with that. And then we've got the lovely flowers that my son brought over yesterday. Uh, I didn't know he was coming. And uh, all of a sudden the doorbell goes, and I... Or the intercom thingy goes and I know it's probably him because he's press 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 you know whereas normally uh, nobody would do that unless it's like him messing about and then in he comes and he's brought us a lovely big leg of lamb for Sunday lunch and um, a bunch of flowers and he even hoovered up for me before he went isn't that a sweetheart and I didn't even know he was coming and Lexi absolutely loves him it's her boyfriend I also said, oh, look, your boyfriend's here. She just absolutely loves Tom. So uh, so she was sat with him and covered his black jeans all in fluff. Because <laughs> she, you know, she molts. Even though Westies aren't supposed to molt, she does in the summer. So um, it's ever since she got spayed. Before she was spayed, she didn't. And ever since then, she does. So um, she, you have to you know, offer guests one of those roly things to take the hair off. But uh, thankfully, I've got a really good one. So uh, Eva's fine to go back out again <laughs> and face the world, not covered in fur. Oh, uh, bless. So uh, that was really lovely. So we're having that today, and I'm really looking forward to that. I'm going to put it in the oven in a second when I finish this. And, um, yeah, it's just a really nice day. So uh, I think all the family are off doing different things. I know uh, my youngest is having a barbecue, and... Um, we're having roast lamb and all the other kids are quite happy with their Easter eggs and things. And uh, of course they can get out now and run around in the gardens in the sunshine. So I think everyone's probably going to have a nice day today. So um, next up is Lydia. There she is, bless her. Uh, I left her blanket off today. Um, just so you can see more of her really. In this gorgeous little um, green romper that I got from Nutmeg. And then underneath I've put, um, it's pointel, isn't it? I forgot last time. Uh, a long sleeve pointel onesie with a um, cotton, like doby or Swiss cotton and lace uh, ruffle collar. Um, the headband that I love just uses everything. And the little peck socks that come up to her little knees <laughs> with her little skinny legs, bless her. And then she's got a little lamb and there's some chicks. And she just looks really adorable. I just love it. Um, it's so nice, this romper. It's a proper, like, um, spring romper, isn't it? And she just looks really sweet. Um, I probably should um, try and show you some of the others. Let's see if I can... Um, it seems just a shame to move them all now. I've spent ages sitting them up there. Let's see if we can um, pan in a little bit and see. So... <laughs> on the end you can barely see Chase bless him he's sat behind uh, Saren in a big hat and then uh, the Saren there in a yellow dress as I say it's, it's a lovely little dress um, it's got little pin tucks across the bodice and scallops and embroidery and then Ava in the middle oh and if you notice as well um, Saren's got a little basket which has got an Easter egg in and then uh, that I made for her I made her and Abby one the same and um, the boys didn't want a basket, they said, because uh, they're boys, aren't they? And it's just not the done thing. And then um, Ava has a, a bigger basket. Not that she has a bigger egg, but she just has a bigger basket because she's a bigger girl. <laughs> and then we have a lovely little basket of eggs in boxes. 
I got some of these for grandchildren as well and they just got hollow chocolate eggs inside um, so I just thought it was really nice it's just something decorative isn't it I like um, I think it's because I like paper crafts and crafts and things I just like decorating things and then uh, you got a little Ethan on the end look gate crashing in front of uh, Jameson who looks like he's trying to see around everybody and then uh, Abby is happy as always uh, with her little hat um, they've all got like I just hot glued flowers and a ribbon around and flowers and a little padded heart on each one in the centre of big flower and um, little uh, chicks I was going to say rabbits then I was going to say birds and finally I got to chicks <laughs> I have brain fog today you've probably noticed <laughs> it's been a week it's been a week and then we're back down to Lydia looking absolutely adorable we got quite a close up of you there Lyd <laughs> bless her so um, I'm off everyone I'm going to put my lamb in the oven I'm going to um, pot around a little bit and do a couple of bits and pieces as you do just to get some you know exercise in <laughs> uh, I can't sit there all day I, I'm not one of those people even when I need to I cannot just sit and sit and sit I have to do something even if it's like do something for a while and then go and rest again. Do something for a while like that. I just can't sit all day. So um, we'll take our leave and we shall be back again soon. So take care, everyone. Have a lovely, lovely day. Happy Easter to everyone. Um, I hope you really have a lovely day. Uh, and enjoy spending time with your family and friends. And uh, we shall be back soon. So bye for now. Take care. Lots of love. Look after yourselves and each other. Bye.